differentiation tree application of differentiation under this chapter you are going to apply differentiation to find the equation of tangent and normal you're also going to apply differentiation to sketch the graph and then solve the optimization problems and last one is about a rate of change tangent line tangent line is a line touch the curve at one point exactly it is a linear line if you look at here the green line is called tangent line so it touch the curve at one point exactly equation of a tangent line can be found using derivative so there are four steps that you have to follow before you found the equation of a tangent line using derivative okay the first step you find dy dx or f prime x from the equation given the second step you find x coordinates okay and you plug in into f prime x or dy dx so we call as the slope and the third step you find y coordinates so just now you already found x coordinates and then you sub into the equation to find y coordinates and the last one you put into the point slope formula which is which is y equal y minus y1 equal to m times x minus s1 so m is the slope of the curve okay equation of a normal line so normal line is defined as the line that uh, is defined as the line that is perpendicular to the tangent line so if you look at this graph so the normal line is the green line and the tangent line is the blue line so normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line so basically the slope of normal line to the graph of f function is equal to negative 1 over derivative of f function there are four steps to find the equation of the normal line just like the steps to find the equation of the tangent line okay the first one you take the derivative of the curve whereby you have finds f prime x or dy over dx the second step you find the slope of the tangent line first then you find the slope of the normal by doing a negative reciprocal that's why the slope equation the slope function for a normal line is given as negative 1 over derivative of f function and the third step you find the y coordinate and the last one you put into point slope formula which is a y minus y1 equal to m times s minus s1 so m is a referring to the slope of the normal line look at this example you are given the equation which is y equal to 1 over 2 e power of 2x at the value of x equal to half then you have to find the equation of a tangent and normal to this curve okay what is the first step to find the equation of the tangent find the derivative of the curve so from this equation you are given y equal to 1 over 2 e power of 2x right so you differentiate this equation so you will get dy dx or the gradient of the tangent so you differentiate 1 over 2 e power of 2x you get e power of 2x so you look at here so this is a constant 1 over 2 and then the exponent function you copy again the whole thing exponent power of 2x and you differentiate 2x function so you get 2 here okay so that these two can be cancelled out so you only have a e power of 2x so this is dy over dx for this equation for this curve equation okay what is the second step you find x coordinates and you sub into dy dx to find the slope okay to find the slope of that equation so just now you already found dy dx 
okay, which is equal to e power of 2x. And then you sub the value of x equal to half into dy dx function. Okay, x equal to half is be given in the integration just now. So e power of 2x of a dy dx so you sub x equal to 1 over 2 so you get exponents only exponent power of 1 here actually okay and the third step you find the y coordinate so x you already have which is 1 over 2 so to find the y coordinates you sub into the equation original equation which is y equal to 1 over 2 e power of 2s okay so now s is 1 over 2 so you get 1 over 2 times e for y coordinate okay you sub the value of s into the original curve equation so you get y equal to 1 over 2 e Okay, the last step, you sub into the point slope equation formula. What is the uh, formula of the tangent equation? Y minus Y1 equal to M times X minus X1. Okay, look at here. Y minus Y1. So, Y1, the coordinates of Y just now, you already find out, which is 1 over 2, E. Okay equal to m the slope which you already find out in the second step here multiply with s minus s1 so s1 this is the value of s is already be given in the question and then you solve both sides okay so to get y as the subject so the answer will be y equal to e times x. So when you expand this, you get e x. This one you expand, you get e over 2. And same goes to this one, you get minus e over 2. So this one bring to the right side. So it becomes cancelled out for the 1 over 2 exponent. Okay. So you only have y equal to e x. So this is the equation of the tangent line. Okay, just now you already find out the equation of the tangent line. So how about uh, equation of the normal line? So there are four steps that you have to follow to find the equation of normal line, isn't it? Okay, the first step you find the derivative of uh, f function of the of the curve equation. So the curve equation is given as one over two e power of 2x so basically the first step is same as the tangent line answer okay the second step find the slope okay of the normal so here by doing a negative reciprocal so slope uh, is denoted as m okay so that is the difference between uh, finding the equation of normal and tangent line whereby the slope is difference for okay for equation of the normal line so just now you already find out the uh, derivative of f function which is equal to e power of 2s isn't it okay so negative 1 over e power of 2s okay and then you So for the uh, gradients of the normal line is equal to negative 1 over e because the derivative of f function is e power of 2x so negative 1 over e power of 2x and you take the x value you sub into this uh, slope of the normal line okay so you will get negative 1 over e the third step you find the y coordinate same as previous uh, same as the tangent line uh, step so you find the y coordinates okay and whereby s is already be given 1 over 2 okay so you get y equal to 1 over 2 s, s e 
the first step you sub into the points of formula which is 1 minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1 so that this is your equation of normal line okay next is about a uh, stationary point okay what is a stationary point so stationary points is a point on a curve where the slope is zero meaning that dy over dx is equal to zero so this uh, can be where the curve uh, reach a minimum or maximum okay so basically there are three types of stationary points so the first one we call as local maximum if you look at here the curve is the set curve so this one contains of has a maximum point so it is also known as the relative maximum point okay the second types of stationary points local minimum so this is a smiley curve okay with a minimum point so we call it as the relative minimum point okay third uh, types of stationary points that you have to know is an inflection point so if you look at here so it is a point on a curve at which a change in the direction of curvature occurs all right either it is a rising uh, inflection point or falling inflection point okay so if you look at here the gradient of the curve uh, of the tangent to any turning points okay or stationary points is parallel to x axis okay so the stationary points is defined as dy over d is equal to zero nature of the stationary points so it can be described by the help of first and second derivative okay for a maximum at point x is when the derivative first derivative is equal to zero and the second derivative value is less than zero then the graph is uh, the graph has a maximum at point x okay second uh, nature of the stationary points for a minimum at point x is when the first derivative is equal to zero and the second derivative value that you calculate is greater than zero so it has a minimum at point s and the third one is the inflection point at point s where first derivative is also equal to zero and the second derivative value is also equal to zero if you look at here so the inflection points is exactly at this point okay whereby the first derivative and second derivative is equal to zero okay next is uh, how to sketch the graph by applying differentiation of uh, first and second derivative okay let's say you are given this equation y equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 5x so sketch the graph of this equation so the first step you find the stationary points whereby dy over dx is equal to zero so the stationary point so is when so dy over dx is equal to zero so you you differentiate this equation first you differentiate x cubed you get 3x squared you differentiate x squared you get 2x you differentiate 5x you get 5 okay and equal to zero then you find the value of x so here maybe this one can be uh, factorized so you find the value of x so here the value of x is given as 5 over 3 and negative 1 for this derivative function okay and then the next step you find the y coordinates because the previous step you already find what is x coordinates so then find the y coordinates so you sub the value of x 
into the equation original equation so original equation is given as x cube minus x square minus 5x okay so the stationary points are uh, x is 5 over 3 and y is negative 6 13 over 27 and the second point is when x equal to negative 1 and y equal to 3 then how to find whether it is maximum or minimum to check whether the stationary points are minimum maximum or points of inflection okay so you take the second derivative test okay if so here uh, you differentiate the second derivative of the equation from the previous equation the first derivative is given as 3x square minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0 am I right okay then the second derivative will be 6x minus 2 okay then how to find whether it is a maximum minimum of points of inflection so you sub the value of x into the second derivative function okay then you find the value of d2 over the square let's say here when s equal to 5 over 3 then d2 over the square is a greater than 0 so it is a minimum point so for the second uh, value when s equal to negative 1 okay you sub into you sub into the, the second derivative function and that is your uh, maximum point okay because the value of uh, the value of second derivative is uh, less than 0 okay the next step you find the y intercept okay y intercept meaning that uh, x is equal to 0 okay so here y also is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 so what happened is uh, so if you look at here when x is equal to 0 y also is equal to 0 okay you sub into this original equation you sub x here so you get y equal to 0 okay and then find x intercept when y is equal to 0 okay so here you have to uh, find the value of x when y equal to 0 if this one can't be factorized so you can use the quadratic formula to find the value of x okay then you sketch the graph based on the first and second derivative uh, method okay so the maximum points that you have calculated just now is negative 1 and negative 3 and the minimum points is a positive 1.6 to negative 6.48 Okay, the question is given here. This figure shows a rectangular sheet of metal of 1 by 1 meter. Okay, the square each uh, of x in meter unit is cut from each corner. And the remaining piece is folded along the broken line to max and open books of volume denoted as V. So here you have uh, you show that uh, v is equal to 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus x. So, you have to find the value of x which the volume v is maximum. So, it's already set up here. v is maximum. Okay. Find x value which give maximum volume. Okay. So, the volume here of the rectangular uh, this one rectangular sheet of metal is equal to height uh, times width times length okay 
So height here is x and the width here is 1 minus 2x and the length is 1 minus 2x. So now you expand everything. This one multiply with these two factors, uh, these two. So you will get uh, x minus 4x squared plus 4x cubed. Okay, the first uh, step, you find the first derivative. Okay, so here from dv over dx, so you will get 1 minus 8x plus 12x squared. Because when you differentiate this equation, V equation, you get, you differentiate 1, you get 1. You differentiate negative 4x squared, you get negative 8x. You differentiate 4x squared, you get 12x squared. And 4x cubed, you get 12x squared. So that is the first derivative. Okay, next, uh, you have letter first derivative is equal to 0, meaning that dv over this is equal to 0. Okay, so now uh, you already find out what is uh, derivative of V function which is 1 minus 8x plus 12x squared equal to 0. Okay, so from here you rearrange, you just rearrange this one. So you will get x is equal to 1 over 6 or 1 over 2. Okay, since the range is from 0 to 0 0.5, so the value of x the accepted of x value is equal to 1 over 6 okay because 1 over 2 is already um, in this border which is not including 0 0.5 so it is it does not include 1 over 2 okay then the next step you find the second derivative Okay, at, uh, at that x value to check whether it is a maximum or minimum. Okay, so when you find the second derivative which is uh, equal to negative 8 plus 24x and then you sub the value of x equal to 1 over 6 into this derivative function. So you get a value of a negative 4 meaning that it is less than 0. So it has a maximum point okay so at the value of x equal to 1 over 6 the volume is maximum okay so now you sub the value of uh, x into that function so you get a volume of 0 0.074 meter cube okay so this is the maximum volume okay the last the last part uh, under this chapter is about the uh, rate of change. Okay, if y is a function of x, then dy over this is the rate of change of y with respect to x. Okay, so ds over dt okay, represents the rate of change of displacement s with respect to t. So ds over dt is also uh define as a velocity rate of change of velocity v with respect to times t okay is the second derivative which is uh defined as acceleration so the first derivative with respect to t is the velocity the second derivative is acceleration okay so if you look at here if the area is in meter square volume is in meter cube and t times in second let's say dA over dt is equal to 4 so the area is increasing at the rate of 4 meter square per second and dV over dt is given as negative 10 so the volume is decreasing at the rate of 10 meter cube per second so this is just uh, define uh, when the value is a negative here yeah? so volume is decreasing okay so if for the first example it is a positive 4 so the area is increasing at the rate of 4 meters square per second Okay, the problems on a rate of change involving times t as a variable may be solved using this formula. So, just like the chain rule, okay, so you have a dy over dt here. 
So dy over dt is equal to dy over du times du over dt. Okay, look at this example. In a simple physical apparatus, the distance at centimeter and y centimeter are related by the equation of this this one. One over x plus one over y equal to one over five. So if y is increasing at a rate of sixteen centimeter per minute, calculate the rate at which x is changed when y equal to nine cm. Okay, so first thing first, you write the equation given 1 over x plus 1 over y equal to 1 over 5. Okay, so you differentiate implicitly with respect to x because in this equation, it contains of y terms as well. Okay, so you have to differentiate implicitly with respect to x. You differentiate 1 over x, you get 1, negative 1 over x squared. Okay. You differentiate 1 over y, y, you will get negative 1 over y squared times dy dx. Okay, because it is a dimpli, uh, implicit differentiation. And at the right hand side, you differentiate 1 over 5, you get 0. Okay, so now your dy over dx, this one, you bring dy over dx at the left hand side and the rest you bring to the right hand side. So you will get negative y squared over x squared for dy dx function. So given that dy over dt is 16 centimeter per minute, it's already mentioned here. If y is increasing at the rate of centimeter per minute, okay. So here dy over dt is 16 centimeter per minute. So first thing first you find dt over ds over dt. So ds over dt is equal to ds over dy times dy over dt. Okay. So dx over dy. Okay, dx over dy is this one negative x square over y square okay multiplied with dy over dt which is 16 okay just now is when dy over dt is equal to 16 okay when y is equal to 9 centimeter so you sub into this uh, function okay when y equal to 9 so that uh, you will get x value which is 45 over 4 okay and ds over dt now can be represented as ds over dy times dy over dt okay so dx over dy is actually uh, the value of ds over dy which is 45 over 4 okay over uh, 9 square okay, times 16 okay so here is uh, dy over dt which is equal to 16 okay so it will give you negative 25 centimeter per minute Meaning that x is increasing at the rate of 25 centimeter per minute. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. That's all for this uh, lecture 9.